home. Oh, <laughs> uh, hello. Come in, come in. I think I'm going to have to fix my my microphone. Let me just let me just test. If anybody hears an echo, it's my fault. I hear. And I will fix it. For me, everything sounds so right. You know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, they'll let us know if one of us is weaker than the other one. They're they're pretty good with that. Where's the Galore Sisters? The Galore Sisters? Is that like the Gabor Sisters, but Galore it's, Sisters? You can tell we don't talk to each other about what we're wearing. I'm like, I'm in I, snoopy chic. And I was very close. To, I was touching that. And then <laughs> it was right behind this one. And I was like, no, it helps me energy wise to do this. Gosh. So, yeah. Um, hello. Hello. Yes, welcome in, everyone. It's a pop-up. It's a Sunday night pop-up. It's Sunday, right? Yeah. It's Sunday, Sunday afternoon still here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Afternoon there. Cool. I feel naked. I got to put a ring on. I got to tell you, I'm so proud of myself. Oh, I'm going to put this one on. I picked up something at the Goodwill and paid 20 bucks for it, and I never would have done that without your videos um what was it can you tell carved, carved pink jade oh danny yay of course carved pink jade for 20 dollars at the goodwill is a gift i think i did good i think it's I a did blessing good. it's a blessing yay yeah and then i went estate sale shopping yesterday oh my gosh my video will come out later this evening uh it's it is one of my best days ever i and i found my passions you know i found i'm just gonna say i found some glass i'm not gonna give it away <laughs> right. uh, but i found one of my favorite types of glass and uh it was antiques everywhere uh, it was so amazing yes it is the thing that keeps me going do you know what I mean? It's like when you have days like that, you're like, yes, this it, is why I didn't learn to cook. This is <laughs> why I learned everything except, you know, like about, you know, patents from 1947 because of days like that. It, yeah. And so if anybody's been watching like the weather, so the, the biggest weather incidents that we have here in Vegas are wind and floods from rain. And so we have been going through our windy season. It's typical. I mean, it's like, it's March in like a lion, out like a lamb. Well, it's in like a freaking pride alignment in lions. Let me tell you, like we had up to 80 mile per hour wind gusts. Like it was bad. Oh, that's um, I, when I was out estate sale shopping, like I went down a road and a tree came down in front of me and blocked the road. I'm like, oh, I probably shouldn't be out here right now. I have been watching that map like crazy. There is crazy stuff happening on that coast and over there and to the west. And the, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, well, and yeah, you know, over Donner Pass, there's, you know, oh, forget Donner. Donner Pass is not a pass right now. It doesn't exist. Yeah. And I almost just wonder did anybody read the story? Just saying. <laughs> Oh, there was a story. going over Donner Pass in the winter. Don't do it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, gosh, no. Um, I mean, I'm I'm afraid of Donner Pass in you know October. I did I ever tell you the story about Don was going to learn to ski? Don was going to learn to ski. Like she moved to Reno and was going to learn to ski, so she went up. Uh, and it was Mount Rose, and I got to the top. And I was like, boy, that was a scary drive and it's starting to snow. And he was like, yep, you better get right back down to the bottom because it's snowing now. And if you didn't like it going up, you're not going to like it going down after it wow. snows. He was a, an instructor. Like he was just like, forget it. Leave now. You did tell me that story. Yeah. 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 I drove up. I drove up to Tahoe. Uh, in a snowstorm and it was terrifying. And I'm watching cars yeah. spinning out in front of me and I'm like. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, ah, that's why I don't live in snow. Yeah. But anyway, we're good. It's calmed down now. But you'll see in my video, I was like literally getting like swept off of my feet. It was so, so windy. Uh, well, I cannot wait to see that. So you got it in the video? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Cool. Yeah. That's cool. I love that kind of inside stuff to get glimpses. You yeah, know? It's been crazy. And then I'm like, okay, so another little inside story here. Uh, when I closed my store, I saved my sign, you know, my big light up sign. And I'm like, yeah, because you know what? I can sell the thrift store part of that sign to somebody. It's a $7,500 sign. Oh my gosh. The wind. You know which piece it cracked? The part that said thrift store. Thrift. Yeah. <laughs> only to me. It can only happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you have a good attitude. I got to say, I don't think I've ever been. Okay, we're going to start soon, everybody. Just so you know, we're going to We start. are. We're letting everybody kind of get the notifications but and get I in here. It occurs to me now. I often worry if I am frustrating you or getting on your nerves or whatever. And it occurs to me now that you're just not that person. You really, no. I feel like, well, you have so much energy. It's going to annoy you that I don't have your energy level or, you know, you, you're, you know, so much stuff about whatever this thing is or that thing. And, you know, and so I always feel like, well, I hope she's not getting annoyed. Like, you know what I mean? I hope it's not like, too much of a drag and well, then you know since you're bringing it up no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but you're not like that like you don't you know that your energy level is what it is and you don't expect other people to have that no not you at know, all I, I was worried about people getting annoyed with me because my energy is so off the roof <laughs> yeah, energy is incredible you really are inc you are blessed with that let me tell you to be our age and be able to just continue, like you just go, you know, it's just so cool. I do that in my imagination. Every morning <laughs> I wake up and I have the big list of things that I know I'm going to do because it's on the list. And then, you know, uh, at, you know, after I've already worked like a shift and a half or almost two shifts or two shifts or whatever, I'm like, I can't do it anymore. And Danny's like, time for the third shift. Here I go. I've, I've been getting a lot more realistic these days about what what I actually need to do in in a day, and I've been spending a lot more time with the kids now that the store is closed, which is amazing. Uh, we got our new doggy, and we go for walks as a family. And um, so many love the new dog. So happy to see the new doggy. I really think that a, a, a sweet big dog was a good choice for you. Hey, you guys want to talk to Noah? Cause he's calling me. Hey. Noah forgot that I was going live. Hello. Say hi to everybody, Noah. Hi, Noah. Hello. <laughs> we're on a walk. Oh, we were just this talking. Much, much better. We were just talking about you taking the dogs for a walk. So they're doing it without me, obviously, because I'm here doing a show. But okay, we're going to get back to the show. Bye. Love you, Mom. Love you more. Bye. Talk more later. It's nice to hear him here. It's nice to hear him call you mom. Mom, of... I know. Everybody says, like, why doesn't he call you mom on the videos? He's no, just trying I to be professional. It. I totally get it. I really do. So I need to put the chat up on the big screen. Um, I picked some, I did something very unusual for me. I chose things that um, I just kind of like, I was just generous. Let's just say I was, I was, I feel like there's good deals. Feel we like, love to give good deals here. Yeah. You know, I got to pick out some giveaways too. Oh, I just got notification that we're live. Oh, good. I'm so glad that's been wonky all day. Um, so glad that it worked relatively on time. <laughs> So we have some new people I see in the chat wondering how this thing works. This is not an auction. We are more of a, you know, we're the niche shopping network. And yeah. so we are much more relaxed and casual. In fact, you can be shopping over in our shops at this very moment. You don't have to wait for us to show something on the screen. In fact, let's put up some. Oh, yeah. Linky poos here. Let's see. Let me find it's here. It's here somewhere. So if you want to shop in Dawn's shop, there is the link. Now, what happens? We put the QR code up on the screen. 
but it also generates a link over in the chat, or at least it should. Um, that's the goal uh, if technology is working correctly. But uh, it is, what is it? Is it HudsonVintageFinds.com? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So there is Dawn's. And then here is mine, the niche lady shop .com. And this is where all of our goodies live, <laughs> so to speak. Um, so today what I'm doing is I, well, I last night, I probably put at least 50 more items on sale. And I put those into my on sale collection, we call it. And so there's a lot of markdowns that have been put in there. And then I brought a ton of stuff here so that if somebody wants to see something, wants a measurement, wants to know yeah. more about it, it's right here with me. I'll be sharing some of those things. But we're going to get a little crazy today. That's why we're calling it March Madness. Uh, we're going to do the normal show you things and sell them. And then Maybe, I don't know. I don't want to give it time because I don't want people to leave and come back. At some point during this sale, we're going to give you the capabilities of just making us offers on stuff. So yeah. if it's not claimed, you know, if nobody has snagged it, um, then we're going to see which items are left. And then those items, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do some March Madness. Yay. I'm excited about that. I've been, I've been in my mind, I've been thinking about how to try and incorporate something like that. And it's, we're just entertaining offers. Yeah. yeah. We just want to have some fun. Yeah. Some fun. And cause it's not like on some of the other marketplaces where you can, you know, submit an offer. So this is the opportunity. Like if you've had your eye on something, submit the offer. Yeah. Now, within reason, within reason. <laughs> I'm just making sure I'm in live chat. I see uh, Christina's here. Nancy's here. Uh, cool. All right. <laughs> yep. And I've got Chelsea, Idaho Gem, and my Christine right. and Melissa all helping moderate and uh, carrying and the wrenches over on YouTube. Yay. And there'll be giveaways. I, I We'll come up with some giveaways. We'll yes. come up with something. Yeah. We'll come up with something. I don't know what they're going to be yet, but I have, uh, you know what? I haven't done these in a while. These might be fun. What? Oh, magnets. Got... Oh, since you've got magnets, we could give away magnets. How fun would that be? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. There, wait. Oh, I'm hot. Now you made me think. Now you made me think. Where'd they go? Oh, I love the background. So I get out of the way and you guys can see all the stuff. Yeah, look how pretty. Hi, Marion. Okay, I don't know where my bougie magnets are, but I have bougie magnets. Yeah, <laughs> you could find it. You could just put a picture of it up. You, you know, know what I'm trying to get? I'm trying to teach him right now. So has everybody seen the viral video of the little cockatiel that's a cookie? Or no, it's a it's a parakeet. And it sings. Cookie, 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 cookie. Do, I, do, 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 do. I must see that. I have not seen that. Oh, it's it's totally viral on TikTok. Oh and my. other people have stitched with it and drummers and musicians have gotten a beat. Anyway, oh, I'm trying. Cool. He's collaborating. <laughs> I'm trying to teach my bird. Bougie, 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 bougie. That's cute. Like cookie cookie. <laughs> yeah. Teach him his name. That's cute. Anyway, and we might do other things other than magnets, by the way. So just if yeah, because I mean, some of you have purchased the magnets. So oh, we'll, that's true. We'll come up with some fun stuff. We will do it. So much for the Okay. Ta -da! Maybe I'll give somebody free shipping tonight. Oh, that's a fun thought. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's such a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. We could do like a lottery version of that. Maybe. No? Yes? I don't know. It's your thought. I, I'm... I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about what the uh, best way to do that is. Yeah. Well, should we? Oh, he already does, Rachel. He already, Rachel. Rachel. Oh, <laughs> someone just got something. 
Nice. I have my sound turned off so that I don't get 20 gazillion text messages during this. Right. Let's see what you got. So would you like to kick it off? Oh, and I think oh, the, the first list. item that you have in there would be the perfect kickoff since we've been talking about him. Uh, the turtle? No. What? The bougie bird. Oh, the bougie bird. It really looks like bougie to me. It Let's really see that does okay uh let me go go get him i'm still in chat here oh yeah i i think he's adorable okay look at that it's so, a bougie bird he but it's the shape of him it's the way like his head is turned doesn't he look like like am i crazy yeah. he looks like a little bougie bird he's very he nice. really he really does i mean he's not blue but it's the way that he's shaped. Like, I really see it. And then his detail on his face, he's really high end. This is a really, like, good quality pin. This came from the Stylist Estate that I got years ago um, when I was still in California. And I've been holding on to it. And um, it's unsigned. I think it is... I think it I think it could have been signed, but it was not like first strike or whatever. Here's the back of it. Look how nice this is. This is a this is a very good quality pin. Okay. See how it's like riveted and inset wow. and you know, all dimensional crystal set. His beak kind of very great detail. So he's fantastic. He's fantastic. And he's not a small pin. He's he's three inches long. Okay, here he is over the uh, over the pillow. Very dimensional. I love him. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, and in that regard, I also from her same from her estate. I have. <laughs> it's like Jenny on the brain. I have this. Ah! Is, is it a turtle or I think it's a sea turtle? That is a turtle. It's a sea turtle. Okay. Here he's he got. Is. He's got flippers. I like his face. Like, I like this angle because you can yeah. really the dimension. Also, extremely well made, right? 45. I just. Oh, wait. Do we need to put hit? Wait, where's the oh. link? There we got it. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's the underside. Okay. Also unsigned. Extremely good quality. Look, I mean, very good quality. All right. And then the last one is from her. Um, in this little group is the cone flower. Look how nice that is. Aww. Really great. I mean, also just really, really great quality, easy to wear, right? I There are actually three available of the turtles and three available of these. Oh, wow. And that's because she was a stylist. So she wore all three together. See how cool they look when you like put them together. Into Lisa's a, bunny wants her salad. Uh, These are my people. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> oh, Gail says she watched Jordan's video short on dog feeder ball. Thought it was a wedding piece. I don't know. Everything could end up being a wedding piece with Jordan. Who knows? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> nice i don't even know what is i don't even know what i have first what do i have listed first we have we, we have little lists on the back end here and it's just easier if i oh you guys are totally gonna love this okay i didn't fix the picture yet you know what i'm gonna go from the bottom up because i fixed i'm gonna fix pictures as you're you're showing these okay so this i don't know why i thought i fixed the title of this because i actually do know what it is now um it uh, is bar Bats, B A A T Z, is the is the maker on this. B A A T Z, and it's this beautiful mauve pink, uh, kind of an ombre, and it's hand painted. There is the signature on the back. I remember this. I yeah, remember. I picked picked yeah. this up at I think I got this at a yard sale, but I couldn't make out all those letters. I had to study it a little bit, but it's just an absolutely beautiful shape. I think that's what got me with it is the shape of it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So it looks like a, it looks like an Elsa Peretti bean. Everything becomes jewelry mm -hmm. in my 
kind of. I get that. I get it that. really does, though. It really looks like it's the same shape. Yeah. Oh, and then the, actually these just got put in the shop because I needed to get them under the loop before I did something dumb. I just needed to make sure they were prints and not some original drawings because RC, uh, uh, yeah, RC Gorman. Let's see. Let me get the right one first. Let's see. This is the right one first. Uh, if these had been originals, uh, well over a hundred dollars for this size. And even as prints, these go for some really good money. So um, I just literally got these listed in the shop. And when that I say these, a great one. There are two. Oh. They're just so elegant. You know, the the style of her Native American, uh, mostly women. I, I don't know. Does she do any male figures? I think she does mostly the, the Navajo women. This one's actually called Navajo Madonna. And like you can see it, yeah. you know, just very beautiful, elegant prints. Oh, oh, yeah. So. Just got those listed in there. Oh, and then let, let me just show something fun while we're at it. Because who doesn't need a flaming Hot Cheetos Snuggie? Come what? On. Yeah. <sighs> you heard me right. Yeah, heard me right. Now I got the best price on the internet. Oh, boy. New in the box. <laughs> New in the box, flaming hot Cheetos <laughs> keeps your warm keeps keeps you warm and your hands free. Wow. Well, if you're eating Cheetos, that's the perfect thing to wear, right? <laughs> because it just blends right in. <laughs> so, those are some of the goodies that are over on the Niche Lady Shop. That's hysterical. What you got next? Oh, I'm going to do the B. I like the B. Here is the a B. picture of the back of it. Wait until you see the front. I'm going to give you a screen to show these little pieces of jewelry. Okay. This is also from the Stylus Estate. Okay. And I want to show it to you, the dimensional. This is great. All right. This, I was just making up the prices, honestly. I listed so many things for $45 just... Just to kind of, just because, like, you know, I just wanted to be fun and not think about things too much. Um, the prices don't reflect at all what these things are. This is from the stylist estate. Um, she had, like, only the highest end things. This is probably an unsigned, um, I want to say, I can't remember the name of it, something with an L, a Loeffler, Loeffner. Um, look at his face. All right. And the texture on the wings, the crystals, three dimensions. You see that? There's his little backside. That's what he looks like from the top. That is the most detailed yeah. little pin I think I've ever seen. Her stuff was is really, really great. The crystals at <sighs> the back. And then that's the underside. All really nice gold plating, like you know, can't go like if you see me holding it, like that's the, the wings, the two, the two wings. See that? So very, you know, I'm excited to finally do something with these things. I've kind of had them floating around forever. And, um, and there they are. Look how pretty. Here he is. On the, here's the here he is. On the, now you know what a bee butt looks like. A bee butt. That's right. A little bee bottom. A little bee bottom. <laughs> Yeah, here's his little butt, and here's his little face. I love it. <laughs> and let's see, I'll do another one. Okay, so is this is a pin where the stinger is. You're being asked. Oh, I think he's a bumblebee. I because he's striped, and he's chubby, and there is no stinger. See, he's and he's striped. So I think he's a, I think he's a bumblebee. But they want to know where the pin is, like the pin. Oh, the part. pin. It's, I'm yeah. sorry. There it is right there. There, there we go. Oh, so he goes kind of sideways then? He sits perfectly here. here. I'm going to open it up and put it on the pillow. He sits exactly the way that a well-designed high-end piece of 
costume jewelry would sit. Let me just make sure this is open. Okay, it's pretty tight. Ooh, come out. There it is, okay. I'm gonna show you. This is how you stick them into something. That was a joke. I bet it, I did want to, you know. Okay, it, great. It have a question. He said, so No, cute. really. I mean, that. thank you for saying that, though, because now we can really see how great he is. Like, my, my holding him did not do that. Like, this makes me want to keep him. Yeah. You know, yeah, he's, he's really, one he's one. like regal. I mean, that looks good. Yes, he's fantastic. Yeah. All right. And then I have a really, uh, I had a little fun. I kind of was like feeling sort of, you know, like I had a sense, like I, I started feeling like I'm funny, which I'm <laughs> really. So I was like, oh, here's my version of a joke. So here it is, instant ancestors. Um, it is, you know, it's a monogram. It's like initials, but this is old. This is Art Deco Rhodium over Sterling Silver and Mark Sight. So if you wanted to add something like, and it is, you know, in typical form, you could never tell what those monograms are. Can anybody ever read those monograms? That's what I'm trying to figure out what I, I almost looks like open. I know. It's like, I think it's a G and an A. That's the back of it. It's an A, it's an O. But it is 2024. You can make up some slang phrase for that and like make it a new thing. It's just a way to look like you come from, you know, you, like your ancestors were, uh, were bougie. So what is it? O L. You, this is your. I come from old money pin, right? You put it on your purse or your. Olga, school. Olga. Oh my God! It is Olga. Or it could just be Olga. No, it says Olga. I never could read it. This is why we love our audience. Great job. <laughs> that was good. It really says Olga. There we go. Olga, we have your pin. And it's Art Deco. It's, a, you know, it's 100 years old, rhodium, sterling, marcosite Art Deco. So there. Yeah, someone got something. We are glad you're here, Nancy. <laughs> yes, Nancy, always. That's your rig's name. Well, there you go. Oh, wow. Your, your pin in honor of Olga. Right now, I can't. Okay. We're going to totally flip things up here. Let's see. What do I got? What do I got? Okay. I, this is one of those things. I don't know where it comes from. I have not been able to find another one like it. Uh, it's these two dudes on a teeter totter. It, wow. looks, it looks either Italian or Spanish to me. I mean, the, uh, the painting. Is it's I I'm leaning towards Mexico, maybe. Yeah, uh, like, uh, can I see the painting on on the red? But it's, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, it could be Dutch. It's I could be Dutch. But, uh, it got uh, no, no more. It might be worth hundreds of dollars, and I don't know. That <laughs> is so cool. It's literally like a one of a kind because if anybody can find this out there in Google land, let me know because I have not been able to find it. So there it is. Get him here. That's fun. I, the guy's face. Oh, it's my turn. It's <laughs> my turn. I love it. It's focused. And then, and then she's like, okay. All right. Oh, that is awesome. It's very, fo it's definitely folk art. Yeah. I mean, art and it's folk you know and then yeah. oh the cs says russian could be russian it's dutch they have oh. shoes see i i thought dutch immediately too another bad joke well oh, i do <laughs> i do have some russian All right oh. let's oh. see if i can do this and click at the same time yes i can oh so. look at go that was cool i'm impressed <laughs> i'm not <laughs> But uh, he's playing a slot machine. Oh, bear. he's a bear playing a slot machine. He's carved from wood. He's at the club, uh, but he is Russian. Look at that. Wow. I think that's Russian. That's... I can verify that that's Russian. I'm thinking it's Russian. I, yeah, I, I, I don't Wait. know. 
Yeah. We think our language is hard to spell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, somebody anyway. got something else. So there he is. And he is wood. He's all carved from wood. I I think he's grand. Oh, somebody got the black glass rhinestone tassel necklace. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Yeah. And let's see. Let's uh, follow it up with a chicken. Oh. And again, for those just joining, um, at some point in here, the things that are not sold, we're going to maybe get a little, a little crazy, a little fun, a little mad, if you will, since it's March Madness. And we're just going to do some fun take offer kind of stuff. But this is. That's gorgeous. Yeah, it's from Cracker Barrel. And if you know, you know, Cracker Barrel gets some amazing things like chicken pitchers. It's uh, 1996 marked on the bottom. He's very well made. I kind of love him. I it's love very that. colorful. I remember when you found that you were doing one of those things where you didn't pick it up right away. And I was like, mm. yeah, yeah. And that is something I learned from you about Cracker Barrel. I never would have known. I think that that is exquisite. Like I could see people a hundred years from now going mid, you know, late 19th century, no, late, late 20th century Cracker Barrel, you know. The chat's on fire. Oh, I don't know. I'm not going to say the word because I don't know if that's a word that YouTube's going to go. Well, you said what? <laughs> but, don't say it. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. I know it's always like the thing that's something coming oh, up. Oh my mouth thing, gosh, like. you guys! <laughs> well, this is part of what we do. We provide this to you. <laughs> so that you oh, thank you, Melissa. That the Bogorodskoy Village. Bogorodskoy Village. Oh. V. And if you think, the about, the v, you think about it, it was probably, you know, it's just like some family piece that they, that's what they do, you know, to, to make some money is they sit there and make little toys or something. It's kind of cool. Okay, Danny, if you put your bear closer, I can read it. Definitely is a joke piece because traditionally those were present kid toys. Oh, see, it takes village. Baby bears going, ha, 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 ha. And I'm just in awe of anybody who knows how to read that. I just got to tell it you. It's got to be a joke piece because it's a slot machine. It's not, you know. You think they don't have slot machines in Russia, do children. they? They don't have slot machines. for. There's no slot mach machines in childhood. <laughs> it's a, a, so casino. Oh, it's a casino. I mean, interesting. Interesting. I have a really neat spoon rest from Cracker Barrel. That's cool. Oh, we decorated a whole bathroom and they had like a whole horse line and we had the whole horse. Like I love, I love Cracker Barrel. I thought it was a restaurant. It is, but they have a gift shop. Oh. So when you're waiting for your table, also <laughs> after you eat, when I, I always got there early so I could shop first because I have like, FOMO, you know, fear of missing out on the good deals that somebody else is going to get. Uh, just silly. Um, but yeah, they got some of the best stuff there. I have to go. The food is eh. <laughs> Yeah, right. But I would love to see that stuff. I'm into that kind of thing. The gift shop is cool. Yeah. We love okay, it. so what shall I show next? Let's see what's next on the list for me. Next on your oh, these. Okay, these are cool. These are cool. This is different. You won't see these in, you know, um, like you're not going to see them on eBay or anything like that. These are cool. I've also, I've had these forever. I'm trying to do that thing where I'm going through my stuff and easing into letting it go and not keeping everything. You know, it's a process for me. So this is really officially it's like a process for all of us. But this is like first round. Like this is officially first round of Dawn going through stuff, right? So these, I was hoarding these forever because the crystal is so good. Signer makes earrings out of these asymmetrical crystals. Look, look how good they are. Oh, they're like watermelon. Well, but it, look at the shape and the size. And they're asymmetrical. And Signer 
you can find signer earrings not this is called vitriol crystal dark vitriol it's from a particular time period like late 60s super beautiful hard to find valuable collectible rare just the color of the crystal don't forget your linky oh i got excited okay so where is it <laughs> it was here a second ago oh here it is okay that is the bonus. That's the sure set. But what I wanted to say was the reason I'm hoarding these or was hoarding them is because signer, you, you can find the signer made them in like clear and blue, same big crystals. They're like $300 if they're signer and these are better, right? They're vitriol, like scarab. Look, look at them. They're cufflinks. I've worn them because I wear men's shirts. I've worn them as cufflinks, but I always wanted to make them into earrings. So I've been holding on to them forever because I felt like then they're the best, like they're better than the signers, right? Look how incredible they are. But they're cufflinks and they're perfect. And I also have, this is like part of my madness. You want to talk about madness. This is my madness because I also found this okay this is slightly different it's in a silver tone but it's like same theme and i was going to make a ring out of this shirt stud like once i discovered that oh like in my mind i was like once i discovered oh these crystals you can find in men's stuff so then like the search went on forever and ever and so now today 65 dollars it's a it's not it's a nothing it's prices i made up i made up all these prices right before we started you get all you get the stud and the things and i get to send it to someone i know which feels really that good. does not mean she overpriced it i just want to clarify that <laughs> it means the opposite yes because yeah. i know that's no what you're, current, you're saying no updated research based on what i saw it at like five years ago or 10 years ago or however long you know I forget to keep up with um, marketing because I've been collecting so long that if I'm taking from my collection, I might think about what it was worth 15 or 20 years ago. And now it's so much more. Yeah. You know, so there's that. And then the next thing on the list is also something I've been holding on to forever. The Whiting and Davis earrings because they're the special, you know, opalite kind of looking you know they're almost like a sapphire looking thing i've seen them called sapphire um they're amazing ah oh, so pretty oh yeah that's so true <laughs> yeah all right so then those those are two those are those are coming up <laughs> we we have little we have little private chats <laughs> yeah uh, is everybody familiar with Isabel Bloom? It's so signature. When you see it on a shelf, you just know. You just know an Isabel Bloom piece. These are made to be outdoor decorations. You can put these in your garden. I believe they're like a concrete that she sculpts these out of. And they're always signed on the bottom. I like so. This is a oh. 2013. It's a cute, cute little girl. You just taught me something. What? To look for Isabel Bloom. Oh. I yes. I don't know that there's any other colors. Has anybody ever seen a color other than just like this kind of dusky? Oh, it's not even dusky. It's that what we what do you call it? It's like uh it's not like a sky blue. It's gosh, it's like her own signature blue. It's yeah. It's just, you know it. You it's know it clay you know blue. It. It's clay blue. Clay blue. We'll go with that. Yeah. What's what's with the galore sister thing? I don't. I'm not getting that. I'm not getting that. Is it is it Susan? Is it SMP? Yes. SMP. So she's like. <laughs> she means well. She doesn't always know. <laughs> I'm just trying to she'll figure out what first, Galore sister She'll be means. the first to tell you that some of her stuff sounds off sometimes, but she she means well. She's a nice person. She just I just need an explanation <laughs> of what a Galore sister is. She's, she's not even grumpy. She's just <laughs> some of her stuff sounds I can't explain it. I think 
you know, I used to be like that. And then I started reading everything out loud in my head before I, t before I posted it. And I realized <laughs> that tone isn't always, you can't hear tone in a text. Gabor Galore. There it is. The Gabor sisters. s and is brilliant. <laughs> okay. Oh. So um, everybody's used to seeing these with a silver overlay. Have you ever seen the gold overlay? I found these fascinating. And then I found out they are worth quite a bit of money, but they are just made just like the silver overlays, only it's a gold overlay. Uh, the handles are, whoops, let me show the handles. Have these little, almost like a, like a laurel leaf. Applied. Uh, yeah. I learned. They're in absolutely beautiful condition. You get the creamer and the sugar. I feel like we should bring this back. We should bring the table settings back with all the little pieces and parts. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's start doing Okay, so I'm looking at those and I am just lusting for them. And I will tell you why. Because I use things like that to hang earrings from and take pictures. Ah. And I love that. And also you could put wildflowers in it and put it on the table. You could. You, yeah, you don't have to use them as creamer and sugars. Like, yes, you could you could do things. You could do things with those. You could creative, do things. Creative people do that. Okay. And then this perfume bottle. I still have not had anybody tell me exactly what kind of crystal this is. I don't know. If it's actually a pink crystal or they dyed it this color, you know. It's, it's a, a little... druzy, right? It's not a rose quartz. It's a druzy. I, remember... I believe so, yeah. Yeah, when you found this. It's a pink druzy. It looks like a rose quartz druzy to me, but I could be wrong. It Maybe it's enhanced, but look at that crystal. Look at how. Oh, it's so, it. it's so. It does have one little rough spot and it's not, a, it's not even a chip. It's just, it's just a, like a, just a rough spot. Oh my but it's, God. Yeah, it's a real heavy, crystal clear glass. Look at that. Look, look at what it's doing on camera. Yeah. That, you it's only gorgeous. put $20 on that. That looks like yep. ABC Home. This is first dibs territory. I love it. When you spin it, when you hold it, oh, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the facets of the crystal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. I have a feeling somebody's going to snag that one. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Did I do the Whiting and Davis? I don't or know. I just showed them. All right. Now I'll show them for real. Okay. <laughs> Here they are. Raw quartz. Mm -hmm. These are 1940. Oh, it's sold. Oh, it's sold. Thank oh. you, Marcella. No, mine. Oh, it's so beautiful. Remember, I don't have my I don't have my little ringer on, so I can't hear it. That's right. It's the ringer. Look at how pretty. See how these glow? Look at how they glow. They're like sapphirene or opal essent. You see, Whiting and Davis from the 40s. Oh, oh, that's right. You teased us with those. Brand new condition. All right. And this is another thing that I was hoarding forever because I wanted to find the other pieces and I was going to find the pendant and I was going to find the pendant and I have it. See, that's the thing. I have the pendant. I can't find where it is. <laughs> so whoever gets this will get first dibs on the pendant. I will contact you. Oh, there it is. They're only $45. They're from the 1940s. They're new old stock Whiting and Davis cameos with like that opalite sapphire. Let me see how the color change, how the color shifts. And there is a left and a right, which is really nice. Okay. And they are signed. So there's those. You're up. Beautimus. I keep switching. Every time I like go off and then come back, it switches our spots. Okay. Oh. Brass is not something that I tend to pick up a lot of, uh, but I was in this one particular spot where there was some really, really nice pieces of brass. So let's 
Let me show. You know what? I'm ditching my chair. There we go. Cool. I like that. It's the whole standing desk thing. I love that. I can't wait to do that in my studio. I'm getting ever closer. Okay. So this, everybody tells me, don't leave a single candlestick. Everybody likes to mix and match the candlesticks now. Uh, it's got your normal, typical little bit of scratching from age. This is an older piece. It's by Valsen, made in Portugal. I mean, and it's got some weight to it. This is not a flimsy candle holder. That's probably less than recycle value on this piece because uh, it's got some substance to it. So I put that over in the sale collection and we've got the solid brass base. Again, not something I typically pick up, but okay. I knew this was a good one. I knew this was solid, solid brass through and through. It's one made in Korea. So it is a vintage older piece like because the newer ones they make now, they're really thin and you can, they just don't feel like quality. This feels like quality. This is a How nice... great would that look on a table with the candlestick? Yeah, right? I mean, you know, that's how you tablescape. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Oh. Yeah. oh, I like that sound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but wait, there's more. Uh, we have a pair of these wall sconces. Oh, wow. They're like, they're like mirrors. Look at that. Uh, that, I don't know what that coloration is on there. I think but they also sit. They could. Yes. They could be bookends too. They could totally be bookends. One of them has a mark, which is how I knew. Oh no, the mark is gone. <gasps> I bet when Rachel took the pictures, she cleaned it off. But that is how I knew they were made in England uh, because there was a made in England sticker. It's I saw it. So you could find it in the video. Whoever gets these yes. video, if they want, okay, I need those. Oh, those are spectacular. Look at that. Yeah, I like them yeah, better. Yeah. You could totally sit these on a shelf and use them. I love them that way. Yeah. Imagine if you have like a lighting store or you need, you have books on lighting or you do lighting. That's your bookends. Well, and you know what I love too? If you do hang them up and you do use them even as a candle holder, there's this little shelf here you could put something on. It was probably yeah. catch the wax, right? Probably, probably. Or or just to reflect more light. I know but the deal you was. Could put, you could put like a turtle there. A turtle. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> that's what goes on shelves in my household. Yes, that's right. Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> so those are my those are my those, brass pieces. I think those are elegant and beautiful. I really love them. I really, really love those. Okay. Okay. What you got? Um, I have a group. So I started going crazy with the groups. I went into oh, nice. If you okay, so that's showing the back. Um, I went, this is from Dawn's old jewelry box. I've had this since I was probably like, I want to say 25. I've had these and this oh, one like 10 years. Yeah. This one is super old. I, I think it's Czech glass turquoise. Look at the construction of this. This is this. See, see how it's made. It's like a pyramid. Hmm. And there's the back of it. I've had this 25 years. Like, seriously, if I've had it a day, I've had it 25 years. It's beautiful. You can really see the blue glass there, the way that it's made. And this was, like, one of the first things, like, you know, you use it to put strands together and things like that. Um, I have other ones now. I don't need my first one. But it's still, like, to come out of a collection that's been in anything that's been in a collection a really long time, you know, like it's good, you know what I mean? And then I put it with this just because I wanted to, to, to move this. I just wanted to find another home for this one. You know what I mean? And look, you can, it's it, the details, like those are real, real little metal strings and that's mother of pearl. There it is. So it's, you get both of them. This is check 1930s and this is probably like 1960s. Spain. Very sweet. Yeah. 
for $35. And, you know, why not? Why not? Yeah. Because why not? <laughs> this is driving like me. These. Talk about the table setting thing. But I want to hear what everybody comes up with for other ways to use little salt dips. The picture does not do these justice, uh, truly. I don't know why there was a yellow tinge in that picture because lighting is my nemesis. But these are cut glass. Uh, these are not pressed glass. These are little cut glass, individual salts. There's only three, unfortunately. Uh, but you're going to get all three of the little cut glass salts. Now, but what else could you use these for? What else? I mean, because obviously we don't put little ring salt holder. <laughs> ring holders. Oh, oh, they just said you could, you could, oh, that's a great idea. <clears throat> Glass votive cuffs for the, the, um, the sconces. Uh, what about a bobesh? You could put a bobesh over it with hanging the, the sconces, the candle. Oh, the sconces. You yeah, have yeah. a bobesh on that. Oh, sure. And, the, and with hanging crystals. Or Let you. Or you put the candles that are like battery operated. Yes. Oh, that that's so cool, Danny. Then it's like lighting that you don't have to electrify. You don't have to wire. You could have remote control. Hmm. Melissa, sphere holder. You're right. I don't have any over here to be an example of that. They're all at home. But you're right. These could totally hold like a little gemstone sphere. Oh, beautiful. Or marbles. Yeah. You guys see, you guys have ideas. Candy. I have ideas. Candy, nuts, almonds. Candy, mints, yes. So that's the joy of this old stuff that we can find other purposes for. Give it new life. And have something elegant that you live with. Yeah. So we have the old, and now we'll go with the new. This is the new version of <laughs> salt and pepper. So come on. Look at these. Acrylic. You thought of me when you saw those. <laughs> But they're both grinders, so the pepper and the salt are both grinders. So fabulous. And they are coal and mason. Coal and mason. Absolutely. And, you know, they have their typical from having, you know, the chunks of salt and pepper in them. They, they got some scratching on the inside from, from use. But once you put the salt and pepper back in, you're not going to see that. No, they're the best. They're fun. They're just fun, fun. I like the sound. You just you like lucite. I know you. I I do. I have a I have a thing for all the glossy shiny lucite. I have one more table item. Oh, it's a wine cooler, a wine chiller, um, and it's hand painted. Now it's hand painted by Ray Lashley in 1993. And it's got this beautiful gray feather on it. So a wine cooler is basically when you've got your chilled bottle of wine and you don't want it to get warm, you put it in the wine chiller. I don't know that this would hold a whole bunch of ice and the wine. I think it's really meant to have the terracotta be the insulation for the wine. And then underneath is this little uh like a coaster to grab the condensation now unfortunately it does have a small chip right here but it is also painted with the native american gray feather symbol and signed by the oh it goes this way and signed by the artist it's amazing you have both pieces right at first i thought it was a lid and then i'm like no 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 that no it goes like that yeah so that's artful. I've got that marked down to 20 bucks. Amazing. So why would you ever get anything? Why would you get a wine cooler from Target? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously? I wouldn't. No, this is something worth having and taking care of and looking at and living with. Yeah. Oh, wait, what are we talking about? Falling asleep in the tub? What? <laughs> You put the terracotta holder in water and the evaporation keeps the wine cooler. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Now it's getting, I have this group of earrings. That's the back of them. Ah. Here I have the right here. Let me fix this. That's the back. Here is the front. 
I put the greens together. Should be changing. There we are. Okay. I love these. These have like a bamboo motif. Okay. Do you guys see me looking up? It's because I have this up on the big screen. Back. back. <laughs> so I can see better. And then the next. Oh, oh, oh no. What did I do? I mixed up all the groups. <gasps> oh, good Lord. Okay. I think this is, yeah, this is this. <laughs> Wait, oh, this what? is fun. I have a lot of groups of earrings, and I thought that I kept the groups separate, but that would have been too too organized. Look, these are awesome. No, those were in the group. Right, but you don't know what how my the side of me looks like. Oh. They're, the, they're not in their proper groups anymore. And then there was the shell-like ones. These, are, these have, like, green bands. Okay, this is not that hard. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> and then there's these. Batenda, I I hear you. <laughs> yeah. So you get those and these along with these. These are the really nice ones. Okay. I mean they're all nice, but these are these are wonderful. Enamel bamboo 1970s. Okay. All right. So that's the first group of the insanity. Oh, I think I remember when you bought those. Yes, it was on video. I thought that they were um cloisonne. I thought they were plique jour. Oh, plique jour. Yes. Plique jour because plique jour is a clear enamel that you can see right. through stained glass and they were on a green background. And I was like, "Oh my gosh." But they're just green and out. But they're gorgeous. I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay. Excited, excited to offer those for $30, honestly. You had school on a Sunday? Ooh. Oh. I really, I try to take Sundays off. <laughs> right. For you, that means only two shifts instead of three, probably. <laughs> you know. One shift. Oh, no, one and a half. I did get to have some fun today, though. One and a half to two and a half. <laughs> Rachel and I went, so we have birds for those not familiar. We have a lot of birds. So we go through a lot of bird toys. So there was supposed to be this big bird expo this weekend. Actually today wasn't, it was just today. And at the very last minute, it got canceled due to a city ordinance, meaning somebody didn't get the permit they were supposed to get to throw this bird expo. So we were super bummed because uh, this is where we go and we, you know, shop for toys and we play with birds and all this. So yeah. some of the vendors had already booked their hotels and everything to come into town with. Their, and so, um, they set up over at the local bird rescue. And so they are donating a portion of the proceeds to the bird rescue. And so we went over there and did, I, I think we got enough bird toys for the entire year. Got, I had a got feeling you were heading in that direction. Well, we you might as well, because if you're going to spend that money and go through them, you might as well do it when it's going to the right. He place. was selling them three and four dollars each. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, we're stocking up. So, Yay. Because yeah, our birds do go through a lot of toys, but, but that's what they're supposed to do. That's what the that's the purpose of the toys is to give them something they can tear apart and, you know, forage in and have fun with. So that, those are the kind of toys we don't get plastic or or any of the, the kind that are indestructible, we get the ones that they can tear apart and have fun with. <laughs> oh, we have, so Bougie is my Quaker parrot, my little spoiled Quaker parrot. And then we have three cockatiels. We have one lovebird now. We're down to one. We're looking, we're gonna rescue a, a, a friend for Mango. Uh, we have, a uh, a plethora of parakeets <laughs> including a little blind albino parakeet like we have all the tough cases <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you don't dare even look i know it's right i just got i just got a notification because i have all notifications clicked on your channel you found a thousand dollars of glass art and pottery at las vegas estate. oh yes 
<laughs> but don't go watch that yet, guys. Stay here. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Uh, I can't believe I still have this cool thing. Because uh, this is not a cheap souvenir piece. This is a really, really nice painted mask. Look at the detail I know on this. I still have it because you can't tell how big it is in that picture. It's this big. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, somebody used a paper clip as a, as a hanger, and I just left it there in case somebody wants to still use that as a hanger. Uh, but it's it's like a paper mache. It's not pottery. It's like a paper mache, but it's it's fabulous. I think it's South American. Pretty sure it's like a South American, uh, some kind of a I'm going to say wild cat. It's art. Yeah. I see that in an entryway. I think that would be really beautiful, like next to a hall tree and entryway. Look at, even look at like the nose. Look at the little nostrils on that. And, like little paws or something like those down there. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. It's pretty fabulous. Yeah. So I've got him. Um, and then I've got oh this. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, we got the notification. Some classic black on black Mexican pottery. Now you're talking my language. Just a really nice primitive piece. Made, made, they made all their stuff to hang. I'm telling you, they were thinking ahead. And they're, let's put this up on the wall. But I think they put it up on the wall because they didn't have space to store a lot of things. So it was used from the wall. Yeah. So right. it's just like the culture just uh, came to do that. But yeah. it's called, it's a black and black. I could not narrow it down to like a Pueblo or tribe or anything, but it is a very classic style of pottery that comes out of Mexico. Absolutely stunning. I'm trying to stay in some themes here, but we're going to go from Mexico to Italy. Mm. I just love how happy this piece is. You know, it's so it's so classic Italian, you know, the, the art. It's got the one simple little leaf on the back. It's got your Italy on the bottom. I do believe it's, no, it's not a terracotta. It's that white clay that they use. Just a nice, simple, very functional piece. So you could put like wooden spoons in that and keep it by the stove. You totally could. Yeah. Totally could. So it doesn't cute. have like a drainage hole, so you could use it, yeah, as organizer. The can whatever. I think tea, little different kinds of tea, wooden spoons. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Chopsticks, you know, whatever. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Totally. Well, after that, that is so elegant. All right. I'm gonna go to my to my group of earrings. There they are. That's okay. facts. I'm going to let you show them. Okay. Um, going, so that's good. You can see the back. So I'm going to show you what all three they are. I have to put them together in the right group. They are enameled from the 1980s. Okay. You get these. That's like a black enamel and a, like a gold enamel. All right. There's the back octagon. And then the next pair is this, this, these. Okay, these are cool. These are very cool. They're like 80s does deco. So fun. Black enamel, gold um, ribbing kind of texture. All right, maybe they go like this. Do they go that way? Yeah, I think they go that way. That's awesome. All right, there's the back. And then the squares are silver tone. Um, but I liked, I don't know, I just liked them in this group. So I put them in this group. I thought, I thought that they worked together somehow. Just see, yeah, they are. Because they're all, you know what they are? They're, they're classic. They're all classic. So there's those. $30 for all three. Right? Beautiful. Look at that. Enamel. 1980s. New old stock from a woman who had um, a 
she was like, it was, it was a jewelry store. It wasn't like the one that the consent, she was, I don't know. There's an estate sale I went to. Um, and she obviously had like a boutique. I think she had like a fashion boutique when she probably just put jewelry in her pockets and took it home every day for, for decades, you know? So there's that looks so pretty. Those, those, there they are up close. The, the picture of the back is on the screen and that's the front. And then these, and these are like black and gold enamel on gold tone. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm reading all things Liz. She's her Conyer wakes up when, when they're in the kitchen. He's covered through the night. And if we don't uncover him, he peeks through and says, <laughs> come here. Bougie says, come here. But but not for that reason. But, but he says, come here. Come here. Come here. That's in, awesome. in response to the fact that I actually say that to him and he doesn't listen. <laughs> but they actually know what it means, right? Eh, they have to. Ish. Well, they, they are very smart and they learn the context in which you're asking. So right. like if he learned, pick up a pistachio and no. ask him, we wanted him to say, yeah, he learned to say, you want a pistachio? Right. He knows pistachio, pistachio, pistachio. Yeah. So we only have to pick it up and he like, he knows. Yeah. I'm going to go get a beverage. Go get a beverage. I will show some things. I will show this little beauty here. Where'd she go? So I learned that this was either, could either be a little planter or a bird feeder. I think she originally made them to be bird feeders. And what you can't tell is this cactus on here is a very raised texture. There you can see it kind of stands out from the piece. It is by an artist named Betty Shelby. So it hangs like this. So it's like actually a perfect little bird feeder. Or it could be a candle holder or it could be a planter. Whatever you would like it to be. It's cute. It's small. It's a good size. And then I have this guy here. Let me find it. Did I not bring this one over? Oops. Okay. I brought a different one over. I, I still have this one. I just didn't bring it over. I brought this one over. And I know it's far from Christmas, but trust me, at Christmas time, the price would go up. Uh, it is punched tin, punched tin, super collectible right now. And I have this one and the one that I just showed you, both punch tin candle holders. This one is a Christmas tree and it's just, it's just fun. Just meant to sit there. And I think the candlelight shows through is how it's supposed to be. So you don't actually see the candle. You just see the little sparkling lights coming through the punch tin. I've been picking up more metals lately in case anybody hasn't noticed including these guys. And again, I went with the just pick up the, the two, even though this probably was originally a set of three, uh, but there are two different size of these Mariposa twisted aluminum candle holders. There's the bottom. And they're a nice weight. These are not going to flop over. There's a tiny little bit of candle wax that I couldn't get out of there. I got most of it out. And they are signed on the side, Mariposa, 1997. There we go. It's hard to believe 1997 is that long ago. <laughs> More than 25 years ago. Uh, but there is that set. And I've got those marked down to 1799. Like some of this stuff, guys, if it's been there a while, I'm just ready to move it. It's moving it time. Um, let's see these guys I do have here. They are just a nice set. Uh, they're more contemporary, but they're kind of like a avocado, like a, like a pale avocado green and brown made to look more primitive than they are. There's the bottoms. They look like they are hand turned. And then just painted. Got those in there for 
I tend to get a lot of candle holders. I'm trying to see. I have I have some in my list that I failed to bring over. Uh, I think that's it on the candle holders. Yes. Oh, let me show you this. This kind of kind of goes in the wood theme. I live by this. I live by this. I believe this. Follow your dreams for who knows what tomorrow will bring. I mean, that is so true. Uh, this is from 1989, PTP Incorporated. And it looks like a little watercolor. You know what? I did not look at this one under the loop to determine if it was a, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's a print. Duh, what am I saying? It's got a copyright on it. Oh, definitely a print. Yes. But it's done really well. Like had me thinking there for a second, the watercolor lines kind of came through. This is a nice, nice little reminder print. Okay, Dawn, what you got? Let's see, let's see. I was just adding a few things to our backstage, hoping that it works. <laughs> ah, yes. Um, I am going to skip. There's more groups of earrings. Maybe I'll just go through those. Let's see. What's the next one? I did that one. This is another group for 30. This one has four. Okay, that's the backs. And these are fun. Four for $30. Can't beat it. That is, is it? Oh, I should, I should change it and make sure. Hold on. I'm going to show the front of them. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is like a... Um, a black and gold kind of motif. There they are. Okay, so with these, you get these, black and gold, very like 80s does deco, look how fun. And then you get these, these are like sparkly, um, black and like metallic silver enamel, enamel. So cool. And then the triangles, super 80 triangle, 80s triangles. Um, check these out. These are um, like black and like gray, I guess, or something enamel. So cool. And then the last ones are like these boomerangs, black with the... Um, textured gold like diamond cut gold okay so you get all four these are cool they are cool you get all four for 30 that's the group that i made on those and i think that's the last of the group of earrings oh no there's no there's more there's three more groups they're fun i put them together i had some fun um, the next thing I show will not be earrings. I'm going to, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see what that is coming up next. Oh, I love the teasers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I got the, oh, actually, let me show this. Everybody. Oh, wait a minute. Clicking the wrong button here. Everybody tells me to pick these up. Pick these up, Danny. Pick these up. Well, oh, I got yeah, definitely. I got one. It's been in my shop for a hot minute. So I have reduced the price. It is a mirrored dresser tray. It's got the brown velvet on the back. It's a good size one too. Again, we'll do, I, I hate to do this because it's going to like glare everywhere, but we'll do the face <laughs> face measurement here. You can see she's a big one. So got that in there. And it's, um, it's a silver tone, almost like a tin. It's very fine. Like you could bend this pretty easy. But it's Hollywood Regency. Oh, totally. Yeah. I mean, okay. So if you use a poofy ottoman as a coffee table, you put that on it, and now you can actually hold a drink. It's a tray. Oh. It's not just to protect your vanity from your perfume bottles. There's other things you, you can do with it. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. You know, if you want to put a candle on a coffee table, it's great. Ooh. This is so pretty. That's why I love doing this too, because sometimes things just don't present themselves in a picture as nice as they are. So doing the little bit more of a fine-tuned video 
to show like I do declare. No, it's not really, it's not really meant to be a fan, but it's got this little embossed design. Let's see if I can get the camera to show it here. I got so much light now that it's just bouncing right off of this little white thing. It's yeah. like a cherry blossom. Yes, yes. And it's by Quan Quan. And it's uh, Blanc de Sheen. MCML XXX. It's a uh, 19. 81. Ha. Cool. 1981. Which seems like forever ago. Oh my goodness. I had a 1981 Camaro Berlinetta back in the day. Cool. I never heard of a Berlinetta. Berlinetta was like in between the like a base model uh Camaro and the um oh gosh, what was oh now I can't just what was the top end Camaro? See, this is what I love because we're so alike, but we're also so different. What was, oh my gosh, because I had one. We had one. Can I tell you what I had in 1981? You know what kind of car I had? I had the kind that when you went like this, it was yellow and it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how to drive. No, not the super, sp Z28. Thank you. Oh, Z28. Cool. Z28. Yeah. So the Berlinetta was a step down from the Z28. Yeah. But I, I love amazing. my Berlinetta. That is so cool. So you had that young. You had that kind of hot out of the box. You had a, a hot car. <laughs> I got married young to a guy that could afford nice cars. <laughs> wow. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was never going to learn how to drive. I still sometimes I'm driving and I still can't believe I'm a driver. You know what I think on this piece? If nobody purchases it, I'm going to give it away. This little uh, Pillsbury Doughboy frame. It's silicone. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if it was like a giveaway originally, probably. But I, it's sprinkles all around. It's really fun. So if nobody purchases this, purchases this by the time we're done, I'm going to give this away. That is awesome. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Should I show one more? Or are you ready? Yeah, show one more. Okay, I got one more. It's the real McCoy. Oh, the real McCoy. Oh. It's a wall pocket. Oh. So it's a McCoy Apple wall pocket. You know how sometimes things just speak to you? You like the apple? I love it. Here, my pretty, take the apple. Right. It will make you beautiful. Okay. I don't know if that was her lines in the movie. Right? Is that is it a twine holder? No, it's just a wall no, pocket. It's just a wall pocket. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, I don't know what somebody would have put in there, but I love that. It's just fun. Well, yeah. your Christmas birthday shopping list is getting easier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow. <laughs> That's right. We're coming in. We're we're no, we're not coming up on that. We're coming up on spring. Spring. Yes, spring. All yes, right. Spring. But nice to know that, you know, I do the same thing. I plan way ahead. I I yeah. Okay. So should I show all my right. my little this yeah. is also really super fun. Okay. This is I made it $25. It's a pendant. It's very 1960s. It's, um, I don't know what it is. It's not any, it's, it's glass. It's, oh, it's, I love it. it's glass. It's probably like a Sarah cub or Capri or something like that. It's not marked. It's big. And it's also a cheater because it's got the mirror on the other side. See, that's cool. So, so you could be wearing it. You could be a super cool hip chick and then you want to check your lipstick and you go very subtly, you know. Do we really need to be subtle these days? Do we need but, to? No, but it's a gorgeous pendant. I see it on a, I see it on a, a cool old kind of like, you know, like the Trafari old ropes or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I like it. And I made it $25 because why not? That's it. That's it. That's fine. Oh, Elizabeth, that was the... Uh... Was it uh, 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 ah Burt Reynolds, uh, Sally Field, um, Smoking the Bandit car? That Trans Am, that's what made uh, that car 
like yeah desirable but, yeah a hot pink two-door comet wow okay all right i want to google that that's <laughs> Yeah, I like the. Have you seen they they make Mini Coopers with pink stripes that I love. Oh, not too much. They're like black with just a little bit of a pink racing stripe. They're really cute. Mini Coopers are fun. That Jordan. So Jordan had a Mini Cooper, and that was the inspiration for me to get the Kia Soul because I can afford right. a Mini Cooper. <laughs> right, right, yeah, no. yeah. What's the length of the Silver Link necklace? Which Let me one? find out. I will find out. Oh, you mean the 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 the, the sterling one, the modernist one? I will I will measure that. Um, that is someone's browsing ahead, which is totally good, totally allowed. This I hemmed and hawed about bringing because it's special, and I was like, well, we can auction it, whatever. Here it is. You have the link handy. There it is. It's like a, it's mo it's mid-century modern. Oh, okay. I'll do that now. I think, here you go. That, okay. So now I'm going to, you see how it would be difficult to measure. I'll do it because they're all curved. They're all curved pieces, but it's, um, it's reasonable. Look how amazing that is. Um, it's got a great mark too. So without the curve, well, without the deep curve, 14, this is really hard to measure. I'll do half of that, 15, 16, 17. I bet it's 18 to 19. I bet it's 18 to 19 on the drop. And then the pendant itself is 1, 2, it's three inches. It's over three inches. So um, I'm going to put it on the bust so you can see. If you've ever gotten anything from the bust, then you'll be able to tell. Right? Hop on the bust, Gus. <laughs> Make new plans, Dan. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't sing. I got to remember I can't sing. You did fine. Just Look. fine. There it is. That's oh, that is really pretty. It's like 18 to 19. They're, they're really curved. Like this is one curve. And then there's that. And then, this is special. This is a special mid-century piece. And um, I was hoarding it, thinking I was going to auction it. But I just listed it for 145 Because why not? Once again. Because why not? Yeah. And, um, and someone just got it. Yeah. There you go. There's, there it is. That's what it looks like if you wear it. You can wear it this way, too. Look how wow. incredible. It's incredible. All right. Well, congratulations. Whoever got it, I know you will love it. 50 you ways to lose your liver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Is the liver what processes sugar? No, that's the pancreas. My song would be 50 ways to, to lose your pancreas. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Okay, I got some fun guys. I got some fun guys. Let's see who do I have here first. Speaking of spring, these are Jim Shore. Let's see, is this the oh wait, the balloon guy first? They are Jim Shore and they are these fun little bears. This guy, here's the Jim Shore on the back. Um, they're 1996. His balloon says Wub Me. It's so sad, kind of. Oh my goodness. He needs some wub. Oh, the balloon oh, is turning as I'm trying to show it to you. You know, that immediately makes me think of Mr. Beast. Does it? Because he doesn't say love, he says wub. Oh, does he? I didn't even know that. Yeah. So we have him. I've sold a couple of them and I've marked the rest of them down. This is, oh, the butterfly net. Uh, it's this one. This is so fun. Okay, check it out. He's searching. Do you see what's behind him? See how it it's on a wire? Oh! Little butterfly is behind his head. Oh, that's delightful. Fluttering around that he's looking for him. The net fabric? Uh, it's real net. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's actual, it's actual net. Okay, there's him. And then there's, I got a brand new 
brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new key. Uh, <laughs> he's going for a little fall <laughs> on his roller skates. We've all been there. We've all been there. Well, that's a very good idea. If you're learning how to roller skate, just use your belt to put a, a pillow on your butt. Yes. On your backside. This is my favorite. Oh, that's my favorite too. Look at he's flying a kite. That's kinetic. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Isn't that great? That's beautiful. That is so charming and delightful. I cannot even stand it. <laughs> oh. So they're on sale in my shop. Get them while they're hot. Lovely. That's a stalker song? No, Which one? It's not. What the, is? The Melanie? The roller skate song? I got a brand new pair of roller skates. You got a brand new. I don't want to think of the lyrics. It together and dun, 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 dun. No, it's it's a suggestion. She's not saying you better get together. <laughs> you know, you can make something out of anything. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> There's a Beatles song. There's a Beatles song from the early days that is definitely a stalker song. I can't think of what it is right now, but it truly is. Like, can you imagine what, how many stalkers they had? What were they thinking when they wrote it? Oh, can you? Well, they had something called Apple Scruffs. They had people that just hung around in front of the building all day. Well, we not, I don't want to go there. <laughs> yeah things have changed okay so i have added a little <laughs> a little yeah so i added um i'm gonna find i have some really beautiful gold earrings that i would like to show well do show do show oh, i i found them in the in uh oh for pete's sake I, I don't okay there's those for s some reason oh one way or another yeah okay i'm gonna well i don't know what to do now i got those in did those. you lose them i i yeah i i added the i i don't know what i did i i thought i was organized and ha ha it's all good <laughs> it's all good it's all good. Well, here, let me show something while you're uh, looking for something. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Okay. So I showed the wine. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay. I guess I'm showing this first. Isn't this great? Classic mid-century. It is um, Glassworks. I think glass glassworks must be the maker. I hate truncated titles because I put all the info in there and then I can't read it. Uh, but look at this handle. Look how great that is. It's got the silver stripe, the silver band around it all the way around. It's got the silver neck. Obviously, we wouldn't use this for coffee anymore, but what like a flower arrangement or because it's glass, you could actually start some plants in this. Can't you just see the root systems like growing down here and being able to see it? I get those ideas from Jordan, but just uh, just a great piece. Got that. And then to go with the mid-century coffee, we've got the mid-century ice bucket. Whoops, where is it? There it is. Which picture is showing? Okay, that picture is showing. It is an ice bucket in the classic chrome, very clean. Marked on the bottom, Hampton Forge. Da, 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 da. Here we go. I love it. It's got like the Art Deco lines, but it's not. <laughs> but look, okay, I'm like, I'm kind of loving the sound. The sound of the, the clink. And it's funny because I brought more things in here then i brought into the shop but so i don't actually have the links to some of these other pieces but this is where we're going to do some fun stuff hey don you ready to do some fun stuff i'm ready let's do some fun stuff okay i have to i have to go over and see though first what has sold 
and what is still yeah. available. Okay. That's going to decide what I am able to work with. Okay. Gotcha. So let me put some stuff aside that is sold. I'm going to show, I'm going to see if I can, is, you know, things, it's not the most intuitive. <laughs> Can we just say it's not the most intuitive? Okay, here, this, that's the clasp detail. This, I got in an estate sale. This is 1940s Sabrina glass and rhinestone. Cleopatra fringe style. This is like, this is like in the style of Leo glass. It could be, I don't know if it is or is not. Okay, um, they're all attached. This is, there's nothing wrong with any of them. This one is like, it's for some reason, it's a little, There, it's wired in. So the wire is like a little stuck there. Um, there you go. Look how pretty. They're wired from the top of the rhinestone. Let me show you this construction. The pin goes from the top. Each one of these is the pin, and then it goes through and goes down. Okay, so it's stunning. 1940s blue Sabrina glass and rhinestone constructed like a Leo glass, okay? If you're learning about costume jewelry that is collectible and valuable, you need to know about Leo glass if you don't already. Look how pretty that is. Cleopatra style, beautiful movement on it. Sabrina glass is great. There's, and I made it, I made it fun. Like all of these things, I just wanted it to be, you know, really fun. Like good, you know, something like a memorable bargain for whoever got whatever. There it is. And then I'm just going to show you the back of it so you can really see the construction. That's the back of the rhinestones, rhodium plated. Okay. And they're asking how long is it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I didn't do any measuring because I knew I was going to be holding everything up. So whatever doesn't sell tonight, I will add the measurements to to the the information if there's anything left. Okay, the measurement is uh, sixteen inches. 16 inches at the max. The adjustable part goes from uh, 13 to 16. And it's got this pretty little double dangle there hanging from it. It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. $50. Can't go wrong. Cool. Yeah. It's like periwinkle. It is. It's a peri. It's a Sabrina. Sabrina glass is when you see the, you see how it's shaded on the inside, like with a more opaque. That's called Sabrina. You know, when I hear the color periwinkle, I think of a box of crayons and all the cool names of colors that we grew up with. I do that too. Yeah. Yeah. I know those are like some of those colors. I don't think I can't remember what they are anymore, but they're part of my psyche. Like the mm. you know, way I think about things. Sometimes it's a Crayola color. Look how beautiful that is. It's really a good one. I got it in an estate sale in Montclair. Very oh, cool. oh, I think someone just grabbed it too. <laughs> okay. I'm ready to have some fun. Okay. This is how we're going to do this. So I'm going to show you an item. It's an item I've already shown. You've already had a chance to see it, but now I'm going to entertain offers. This is what we're going to do. So I would really like to find the Flamin' Hot Cheetos a new home. So you can see what I have it there for. I'm going to entertain reasonable offers, reasonable meaning like over $15. And uh, this is new. I'm just going to give it, you know, just enough time for lag for those who want to make me an offer on the Flamin' Hot Cheeto Snuggie. This is a, come on, this is a great gift for somebody. It's a great oh, gift. This is fantastic. You can even give it to a teenager. Oh, totally. Is it flame they, retardant? They love Snuggies. Gail says she always wanted the really big box. That was the thing. It was what was the big box? Was it 64? 
the 64 crayon box with the with the sharpener in the back yes yeah it's a soft fleece it's a 2023 i can't imagine that it's not flame retardant yeah it's 100 percent uh polyester machine washable machine wash cold water tumble dry low it doesn't say one way or the other but it is current it's not like vintage it's it's a current current thing i'm sure it's fine <laughs> Okay, no takers on the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, but that is the beauty of the Niche Shopping Network. If you're watching this on the replay, you can also still send an offer through the store's messaging system. That way it alerts me that it's coming from the shop. <laughs> so just send a message through the nichelady.shop.com if you want to make an offer on that item or any item that I'm going to open up opportunities on. Maybe it was 98 crayons. I think it might have been, it had like the four sections. I can, uh, this is going to drive me crazy. Like I need to know. I thought it was 64. 64 is the box. It says like, I remember the big 64 on it. But yeah. I'm totally wrong. But yeah. the sharpener in the back, like that was the big. Yeah. And the flip top. Absolutely. Uh, and oh my God, do you guys remember like uh, Aquamarine? No, Ultramarine was one of them. Ultramarine, right? Magenta. Anyway, I'm going off into nostalgia land. I will entertain offers on the unique little, uh, who knows where he's from, little teeter totter figure. Again, I'll go, I'll go anything over half price. So anything over. Anything over 12 bucks on him, I will entertain on the little teacher totter. That's crazy. I'm telling you, I said I was going to have March Madness fun. It's time to clear the shelves, make way for new stuff. I misunderstood. I pulled something that I thought we were going to entertain increasing offers on. Well, you can. Because <laughs> it's something I put together myself. You do it that way. I yeah. was clearancing some things to make room for more things because... Uh, niche lady shop is the only place that I am listing items at this point in my life. Yeah. Uh, so we just, we just make room. Okay. So there's that. How about this? You guys tell me what you would like to make an offer on. You know, there are things that we've already gone through, so I don't need to keep putting up. So this is so smart. You yeah. Know what? Because you, because it's a two way conversation right now. We're together. So they can really take advantage. I would say go browse Danny's shop and see if there's anything you've been really yeah. wanting because you can make an offer. And if she says no, she says no, but she might take it. Um, nothing's missing from their hands. They're just, that's how they're made. They're made. Wee. <laughs> so this is something I put together myself that I rather love. Okay, I've done I've done similar things to this before, but nothing of um, with this scale. The pearls are normally I use a smaller pearl. You can still use a smaller pearl with this pin. It's a safety pin style sterling silver marcasite with an uh, hanging onyx onyx heart. But it's freshwater pearls. They're really large. It's um it's doubled up right now. It's a long strand. Okay, I can give you all the measurements, but the amazing thing about this, it's a two for, it's a, it's one that I put together myself. Okay, um, and again, you guys have seen this before. You've, you've um, seen it when I have auctions on Wednesdays, um, but not, not in this size. Um, you've mm. seen kind of in a finer, sort of a gold filled with a thinner pearl, but I love that scale. So I am entertaining increasing offers on this. And if you are someone who's hip to this from my channel, it might be an opportunity for you because I, the same group is in here. You know what I mean? It's like there's this, this might really be an opportunity to grab. Um, and this is the last one I have like this. Um, and this is what it looks like on the bust. Hold on. I don't have the um, the pearls even. 
And what is the lowest offer that you are entertaining? Oh, I, okay, so we can, the, the first offer should be because it's the big freshwater pearls and the sterling pin. It, it's really two things, but it's the way that I've styled them. So just for the two things, if you took them apart, I think 125 would be a ridiculously low offer. So we can start there. Okay. And I'm going to adjust, I'm going to, I'm going to take it apart and show it to you apart so you can see the elements. Um, it's a safety pin style actual pin that you can use like on a coat lapel or whatever. And it's sterling and marcasite with the hanging onyx heart. Um, I just got to get it out of here. All right. It's a nice size. I'm doing this also to measure because I didn't measure it before we started. So mm -hmm. the pin itself. That's the true, pin, Gail. The pin is two and almost two and a half inches long, uh, wide this way. And then the, the dangle hangs um, about two and a half inches. So that's like two and three quarters there. Okay. And that's like two and a half. See how pretty it's, and that's all marcasites. That's gorgeous. Sterling, just that. Um, and then you get the really long, large pearls. These are freshwater, gorgeous. Okay. And that is too long for me to measure on this table. Um, let's see. No, nope, I'm still not able to see it. Hold on. Uh, 24. So that is 48 inches. Wow. Okay. So, and it's already put together. If you've seen the, the crazy bidding on the other ones that I did um, in that style with the rice pearls and the pins, it's a beautiful look. I mean, it really is. Oh, see, now I, I moved my, why? This is so weird. It's like the camera's in a different place than I'm used to here. Uh, mine was doing that too. Yeah, I'll just hold it. Okay, so there's that. And then. Oh, well, it's because I'm on the screen too. You put, you put that, isn't that odd? So, and you, the way that you work this. Okay, so you could pin I it. I want to see the pearls that. close up. You could pin it through like that, or you can use it as the clasp, which is the little trick that I do. Here's the pearls close up. Wow. All right. And Julie, Julie knows. Julie, Julie has seen it. Yeah, Julie's in at 125. Yeah. They're beautiful, large. Oh, the millimeters. Sure. The millimeters. Uh I can't do millimeters, but I can tell you they're, they're, um, uh, sixteenths. They're like more than a quarter of an inch. They're like three sixteenths, right? If a quarter of an inch is two, they're like three. They're big. They're like, you know what they are? I know what these are. They're like the average seven millimeter, seven to eight millimeter. Seven and a half to eight and a half, actually. I know just, I just know. They're not less than seven. They're probably seven and a half to eight and a half. Yeah. They're not 12. We'll say seven and a half to eight and a half. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's pretty, pretty accurate. And the amazing thing is you can make that style. You can use this as the clasp on anything, not just these, right? Um, you can do it with crystals, with smaller pearls, but I liked the scale of the larger pin on the pearls because the other ones that I've made were the little rice pearls. You guys have seen, you know, they were these little rice pearls with like a more dainty pin, right? Remember? So mm -hmm. this is like the bigger version and it's so cool and it's really a safety pin mechanism. See? So Julie has the best offer at 165 right now. Okay. Yes, offer. Thank you everyone for the offers. 
You want to do a little countdown? All right. 10, 9, 8 going. And then you can. Oh. Here we go. Oh. oh. Coming back in. Melissa. All right. This is also good just to wear, just to play. I mean, oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, there's so much you can do. And you could pin this through this this way. You know, I love using safety pin motif things as clasps. I think it is infinitely cool. It's like, you know, a classy version of Vivian Westwood, right? The Vivian Westwood necklaces have sort of a safety pin uh, style. Okay. Uh, see, there's that you can use as a shortener, but so the way that you do it is you just do this and then you put the safety pin through this side and then through this side. So I will do that now. We are at, um, our, our, I got it on the screen for you. Oh, thank you. 185 with Meg. Yes. Yes. Meg. Yes. Meg knows. And Julie is out. Okay. Thank you everyone for the lovely offers for this. This is something that I do put together. You validate me with <laughs> my creativity. I'm still playing with it down here. Um, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Melissa. <laughs> Kale. All right. Melissa has offered 190. And there it is. There is one thing a little fiddly with it, which you will see. It's not that big a deal. You have to make sure that the pearls are exactly even on this because the pearls are so big, right? That otherwise, well, otherwise it looks like a swag, which is not bad. But other, yeah. I kind of like that too. Yeah, that's kind of see it. Look how good it's that, so versatile. This, There's so many this things to do. Style like this is a thing that I created. I I do love it. Like it is extremely cool and feminine at the same time, right? It really is. For real. Oops. Gail, does that popcorn have lots of butter? <laughs> <laughs> They think 10 millimeter. I don't think it's 10. I think it's, I think it's, I really think it's, it's, it's like eight and a half. It's eight and a half. If there's no way it's 10. Maybe eight and a half, nine. There. There you go. I'm having a bit of an awkward moment trying to find this camera. Here, I'll just pick it up. There it is. So Meg is out. There you go. Look how awesome. All right. Anything over eight is juicy. I agree. Look how beautiful, but look at the style of it. Like it's cool girl, but elegant and wonderful. I do love this. I really do. All right, and I'm I'm doing good. I'm I am letting things go. So, how long does it take an oyster to create a pearl? Depends on the oyster, and the depends on a lot. It takes years for big pearls. Years and years and years. Well, I'm thinking. And the conditions, if the temperatures fluctuate too much, they die. Oh gosh, don't I know it? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> It isn't even just temperature. It is the all of the elements in the water. If something goes wonky, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Pearls, big pearls are are more and more rare. Like if you are in the market for Tahitian pearls, you're buying old Tahitian pearls. Let's just say that. Even if you're buying them from new from a new store, you're getting old ones. I wonder. I wonder if I could raise an oyster. Hmm. I have yeah. clams. All right. You can hang anything off the pin. Absolutely. Oh, okay. Should I start counting it down? It looks you should count it down. Okay. Okay. Get ready, Melissa. H. 10, 9, 8 going once. 7, 6, 5 going twice. 
and top offer stands Melissa H. Woohoo! <laughs> That's nice such a try. quick habit. I just <laughs> okay. All right. Four months to six years. There you go. Wow. Okay. Melissa. Yeah, and I think a lot depends on too if they're if they're simulated to make them from so man comes in and cultures these pearls by putting the irritant into yes. the oysters to make them create the pearls. But out in the wild and the natural, I can imagine it takes a lot longer. Like if we don't speed up the process and they're just harvested, those those took a very long time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, Melissa, I don't know if I have your contact info. Oh, so Dawn, why don't you go make a listing like real quick so she can just go. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Um, thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. My brain. That was the whole point. <laughs> I'll do it right now. I can entertain the crowd for a moment. Okay. So I haven't seen any other requests coming in. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm in a mood. I'm in a mood. You never know uh, what I'm going to accept, except that I know that I now have all this stuff in here and I'd rather ship it than put it back into my room. So uh, literally, don't be afraid to throw me uh, some crazy offers on anything that I've shown or anything that anything that's in my sale category over in the niche shopping network or anything that's in an older. Obviously, if I just put the collection up yesterday, not quite as negotiable yet, but the items that I've had in there for a little bit, I am definitely, definitely open to offers. More, yes. You know, Gail, it's funny you say that. I was just thinking that today. It's like, oh, I'm so behind on the Niche Lady Critter Cam. So behind. But I've also been working very, very hard on focus. And I took this course, for lack of a, a better term, it's not really like a, you take the course and you're done. It's like an ongoing training uh, that I'm doing for my YouTube channel. And that I really like, I just wanted to concentrate on that. And I wanted to just work on making my videos better, learning the YouTube algorithm better so that I could build things up and get to my 100K. I'm so close, you guys. I'm so close to my 100K. I can't even believe I'm this, it's this, it's this close now. Uh, and I'm super excited. It's just, it's, it's a really, really, really big marker for a YouTube content creator to hit that. I mean, it, it gets YouTube's attention when you get to the hundred thousand subscribers, it's like the magic number for some reason. So it's super pivotal and I'm super close. Thanks to all of you guys. Um, but I've really been focusing on that and, and that's kind of like, this year is like one thing at a time is what, what I'm trying to do. So unfortunately, the critter cam kind of got pushed over because what I need to figure out how to do is set up a webcam, but take out the audio from my house so that nobody uh, hears what's going on in my household while it's live. So that is like my next thing is I will be setting up a webcam to just have the aquarium going so you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. Like I'm sitting at my desk, I can watch it and uh, it's really, really super fun. Yes, pearl farmers must have patience. I can, yes, I can imagine. Can imagine. Is there a word of the day? There will be, Sandra. There will be. There will be. Uh, put link in chat. Um, can you guys put? Oh, oh, that's you putting that. Uh, yeah, and that just I appeared. Was talking, and I was like, no, I was talking. Where did that come from? I was having this whole conversation. I forgot that you couldn't hear me. <laughs> so that you can click on right now. Okay. There you go, Melissa H. That's how you go claim your. Yeah. And I and it looks that way on purpose. But when you click on it, it will, it should work. If it doesn't work, let me know. Okay. Uh, now, can one of my mods put the link to the nicheladyshop.com into the chat? <laughs> you guys can go peruse. 
because it's interesting. We can put up the items and it'll put the link in the chat. But I discovered when we put up our store links, it does not put the link in the chat. Isn't that the oddest thing? Uh, it doesn't surprise me, though. <laughs> we really we're, we're going to be doing a little, we're working on we're working on things. We're doing a mm -hmm. test. Oh, it's really important, Danny, that we don't say we shouldn't say what we're not doing, too. Like we, like we, we, I know we don't say what we are. Oh, I gotcha. But we should also not say what we're not doing. Not just, do you understand? <laughs> Let me say it again. Kind of. <laughs> right now we're very trained to not say what we are doing, but we also don't want to say what we're not doing. Just remember that. That was very Allison in Wonderlandish. <laughs> do you want to know the truth? I'm just saying. I've had. Uh, can you make an make an offer button in your store? Right now, I don't see a way to do that. But I'm still learning. It's a Shopify platform, so there is probably a way to do that. I just haven't figured it out yet. Um, so yeah, yeah. Next to the YouTube channel, my next thing is to build up my my store, my shop. Put some okay. new categories of things. The blue cased satin glass rubble vase. Let me take a look if I can do that, baby bear. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Went through like a perfect. That went that went perfectly. Very good, Melissa. On its way. And now I can't get over to my screen. Okay. You know what, baby bear? I'm gonna do that for you. I'm imagining you're already on the link. You can go snag that. I just made that adjustment for you. If you want to go snag that real quick before anybody else does. Danny, you are a force of nature. <laughs> I don't know how, like... how you do all this stuff. You make it look so easy. <laughs> wow. I For me, I had to leave the screen. I was like, people can see my face. I'm all, you know. And you're like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Well, remember, I used to do a live program uh, on the Las Vegas, uh, on not the Vegas Video Network, and everything was live. Like it was all on the fly, and I had a computer in front of me, and I had to, you know, the next thing up on the screen had to, you know, I was. <laughs> so I kind of cool. learned to do it. <laughs> you just made that adjustment so fast. I would still be talking about it even now. I'd be like, "Okay, baby bear." Almost done. I'm afraid if I put the link in here, uh, baby bear, somebody else is going to snag it. So since you were already on it, I've just adjusted the price for you. And uh, it's there waiting for you. It's beautiful. I considered keeping that one. I'll have you know. Because it's blue. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else got something? Because it's about time to start doing some giveaways. Ooh. And again, if you want to go in and shop after we're not live anymore and you just want to take your time and peruse again, send me your offer requests. I am happy to entertain them. You guys are generally very fair and, and very good. You're a pink girl. Me too. Three pink. Oh, I do. I do. I have I, the pink. I get cranberry glass, though, not so much pink glass. Yeah, I see yeah. that with you, right? Yeah. Oh, I, name I, that tune. You're more like raspberry pomegranate. I see, right? Sandra. What are you singing? I see. La 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 la. la. I mean, if you're really reading music. <laughs> Meg, um, every every collection, but the most current one, pretty much, yeah. Almost the whole shop is fair game. And yeah. even then, you know, I'm in a good mood, so you never know. See, I keep bumping myself off camera too, and I'm like half on camera. I do that too. I know it's the the angles are always different. The Napier beaded necklace. Ooh. What do I have on that? Let me go look. Maybe your beaded necklace. Dun. Oh, I can't do seven on that. 
I could come, I could shave, I could shave 10 bucks off it for you. How's that? I, that's, that's pretty generous. I could do $14.99 on that. I've got it at $24.99. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Oh, Susan. Um, the collections are dated. So I think the last collection I put in there was dated March 2nd. So everything before that is fair game. So if it's a February collection, it's fair game. If it's in the sale category, fair game. I have been holding on to these. Kelly H., I'm pretty sure that will work. Kelly! Isn't that a great mug? Food coma! That's a good one. What is a capital M on Italian silver? Does anyone know? <laughs> no. Okay. For 14, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do one better for you. I'll knock a couple bucks off of it. How about that? Okay. okay. Go go I, grab that, Kelly H. I knocked I, that one down for you. I need to. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see. And then uh, SMP Biker, let me know if you if fourteen ninety nine will work for you. They're asking, where is your necklace, Don? Do you know where her necklace is? Thank you, Batanda Ray. I really appreciate that. You know, it's funny. Okay, so this is this is the odd thing about my channel. In the um, analytics, I can see that almost 50% of my viewers are watching from a TV. And when you're watching from a TV, it is not like right in front of your face to subscribe. You have to really go dig on a TV to go hit the subscribe button. So that literally is why I haven't made it there yet because my viewers are mostly on TVs. And I and that's the thing about YouTube. It's really about the viewers as more than the subscribers. It's just that that little pivotal number like makes a big difference to YouTube. They give you a dedicated support person. They send you that groovy little play button plaque, you know, all the fun stuff. Uh, but truly, I'm so blessed to have so many amazing, amazing viewers. And I realize that most watch from the TV. That's probably why you haven't hit that subscribe button. So I do not, I do, I, I don't have free shipping on right now. Occasionally when we do these shows, I'll flip everything to free shipping in my jewelry category. Is it Malor? Milano? Malor? Which item are you referring to, Sandra? Susan? I'm not sure what you're talking about. You watch on both. Yeah, I watch on both too. I, I will, I'll, you know, it depends. Like when I'm here in the studio, so my computer is, uh, I I have a, a 65 inch TV hung on the wall in front of me to use as a monitor. So like when I'm looking up, I'm looking up at that because I can see everything on that. Um, so it acts as like one of my computer monitors and um, <laughs> I'm all spoiled. So I watch a lot of stuff from the studio because of that. And then when I go home at night and I'm just vegging, then I'm just watching on my smart TV. I'm just pulling up channels and watching videos that I like. I, so I do both too. I want to watch from television. That's like my dream. Do you have a smart TV? Yeah. You should be able to do it then. I would have to clear all the stuff from in front of it. <laughs> I've, I've been moving for so long and reorganizing. Do I need to come out there <laughs> and help you get organized? Because <laughs> Lord knows I can't get myself organized, but I can come out there and get you organized. I have like the coolest couch and I have a peacock chair. I have a great living room, you know, but right now there's a, a rack of clothing in front of the television. I hear you. I hear you. Um, you don't even, Kelly, I thought you needed a Roku or a fire stick or, or one of those things too, until Noah goes, mom, you got a smart TV. You just go, and he like, he made it all work. And I'm like, 
OMG. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, you guys are referring to the, yeah, it's probably for Milan. These things I've been hoarding. This, oh. this is another thing I've been hoarding. These are like super gorgeous Ridge Sterling. They're marked Sterling Italy. No, they're marked 925 Italy with a big, big capital M. And they're like solid Sterling. They're Omega backs, right? Um, it's like, it's a really clear mark and they're solid. Like these are so nice. Those are nice. These are super, super nice. See the M it's like right there. That yeah. that's where it says 925 Italy See, and right there. I've never seen you pick up anything that isn't quality, which is why I watch your videos. Look how easy these are to wear. That's how oh, I learn. Yes. Yeah. So this was something I was thinking about entertaining offers on, but we can do that another night. We'll do it another night. Maybe we'll just do an all offer show one of these nights. Oh my gosh, that would be groundbreaking. It might be fun. That would be so fun. Do it. And then we just, uh, and it, it's not at all like what I do on my channel because we're right. at to the shop. It's so easy. Right. It's best offer. And then they're buying it from the shop. Yeah. Right. I love that idea. Okay. Let's give something away. Yay. Oh, what Meg's going. No, what? no. Meg. Uh Oh, I don't want any, I don't want to frustrate people. I had a lovely message from someone who was truly frustrated. Um, because I made a mistake in inventory and I thought and in inventory said I had two things, but it was only one. And so she didn't get it and I Aww. canceled it and it's not my fault. I mean, it is my fault, but it's not something that I knew I did. Like I have no idea how it said that I had more than one. I've, I've had Shopify do that to my stuff too. Yeah. So I apologized and I said, and I really mean this. I don't want you to feel bad because you're watching. I, that's like the absolute opposite. Like, I don't want anyone to feel bad. Yeah. Because of a mistake, you know? So, I mean, we're supposed to, this is supposed to be fun and joyful and happy. And uh, I think people know that our intentions is never to make anybody feel bad, but we are human. Mistakes will happen. They're going to happen. I'm sharing my passion. You are sharing your passion. Yeah. It brings me such joy, you know. So. But we'll always make it right. We'll always make it yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, let's give it away. Let's give something away. Let's okay. Why don't we give it away? I'm going to give this guy away. I'm going to give right. this one little hoo -hoo -hoo, Pillsbury Doughboy guy away. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, did I mention I put poo in my video tonight? Oh, I can't wait to see it. I figured I figured out how to do something and I'm really proud of myself. So oh I got I got poo in my video tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> that is such a that is such a tease. Okay. Let's make the word. Hmm, let's make them work for it. Pillsbury. Pillsbury spelled just like that. Pillsbury. Ooh. Pillsbury. Now only put in if you really want this item, because we like things to go to those who really, really want the item. Okay. And I will- and then I have to remember to go take it out of the shop. Right. All right. And I will send a magnet if you guys want to, um, we'll do that one next. Okay. Oh, and of course, my chat's totally frozen. What else is new? Oh, of course. Pillsbury. Sandra thinks the word should be poo. That's pretty cute. <laughs> it's Pillsbury. Pillsbury. Okay. Does anybody know the origin of that name? Was it like the last name of one of the founders? I, it always sounded kind of like... Um, like early settler to me, like pilgrims. Maybe it's just because of, oh. I don't know. Okay. I am going to, doesn't it? It sounds like British or something. 
I have to go take this out of the store oh, before somebody buys it. All right, I'm clicking, and the winner is Sylvie Roy Young. Sylvie Roy Young, you are the winner of the frame. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner. You know where that phrase comes from? I have no idea. I believe it's from Knott's Berry Farm. Oh, uh, my God. Long ago when they had the restaurant and they did some kind of a contest and they'd always say winner, winner, chicken dinner. And you got the complimentary the chicken dinner. That's the thing. Pretty sure that's where that came from. I almost just spilled water all over myself. Don't do that. Charles <laughs> A. Pillsbury bought a share in a Minneapolis flour mill. Well, there you go. Awesome. Yay. Yeah, that Pillsbury is Pillsbury cool. is such an interesting name. Okay. So if you won that, who was it again? Sylvie Young. Sylvie Young, please, please, please send an email to the niche lady at gmail.com. Tell me in the subject line, you're the winner. Put in the, the thing that it's the Pillsbury Doughboy frame. And then I need your address so I can send it to you. That's how that'll work. I have had people not claim their Maybe. winnings. Oh, I have someone who hasn't claimed their money. They won $50. Oh. They won $15. Wow. Claimed it. Yeah, it's just sitting here haunting me. Because we have no way to send it to you <laughs> unless you contact us so that we know where to send it. <laughs> okay. Does anybody want a magnet? If you want a magnet, put magnet in. Magnet. And, and I'll know and I'll pick I'll pick from, from you if you want one. They're fun. Magnet. They, work. they stick on your fridge. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. You can't eat jewelry. I mean, you could try. Yeah. Be a little rough going through. <laughs> Danny. What well, anyways? Oh, you just gave me an idea. I see like jewelry on a plate with me going like <laughs> digging in like a big bowl of spaghetti, you know. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. So let's give away, let's give away a magnet. I'll wait a few more seconds. Yeah, let's wait a bit because lag is a beast. Okay. You tell me when, all right. I'll, I'll watch for it to slow down. They're coming in hot and heavy right now. Magnet, 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 oh, magnet, what? magnet, magnet. I'm gonna give away three magnets because there's a lot of people that I I figured everybody want you know. All right, I'll give away three. I'm gonna give away three. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. Yep, yep. Eat, Eat pearls. pearls. <laughs> Okay, it's slowing down now. All right. Slowing down. So the first one goes to Jane Fisher. Jane Fisher. Jane Fisher. Text me at 917-809-7250. And I will uh, send in, and text me where you want me to send it to. And it's just a regular white envelope. So you have to watch out for it. It's not, it's just a regular white envelope for like from Staples with my chicken scratch and a stamp on it. <laughs> okay, so that's the first magnet. Okay. And then if and then when you text me, please text me. It's so it's just so much easier for me if you text me. Yeah, let me put that well, I can put that number right up there on the screen. I'll for send me. it. And then you will get alerts <laughs> when I have sales or when I drop a video. Okay. When you text me. You're going to be on the list to get alerts. So, Jane, if you don't want to be on the list to get alerts, let me know. All right. But otherwise, you'll just be on the list automatically to get alerts. And the next person is. Oh, Melissa. Melissa Hendricks. Melissa Hendricks. All right. Well, and that's easy because. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. She already bought from you. So. Oh, I said you're. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Your last name is in there. That's right. I'm reading it from the chat. Okay. <laughs> That's magnet number two. For a second, I thought I wasn't supposed to say the last name. And then the third and last magnet goes to Chick Benny. Chick Benny. Chick Benny. Chick, Chick Benny, right there. Chick Benny. All right. And I know who you are. Well, actually, do I remember? I feel like my brain is all turned. It never hurts to send the text or the email. No, I know who you are. I do know who you are. Anyway, you get a magnet. <laughs> All right. You get a magnet and you get a magnet. And you get a magnet. You can't eat jewelry magnets. It's very helpful. <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, guys. Oh, 
And I'll show you. Look, see this? This is a, this is a, oh, you can't see it. Can't see it. This, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those customizable, um, what do you call this? Tumbler. Tumbler. <laughs> and I took it apart and put the magnet in there. Oh, sweet. So, I yeah. love it. Okay. Okay. There's going to be some amazing things happening this March. We're going to be bringing some other sellers on here. I think we're going to probably have, I think Chelsea, Idaho Gem will be coming back and doing another uh, sale with me. We haven't set a date yet, but that's going to happen. Uh, Picker Road will be here and I'm going to do some solo shows. I'm yeah. finally going to do it. Hey, well, you know what? Your schedule, like you've just been through a very hard time. Yeah. So here it is. It's a fresh start. Right now I'm like, I'm cramming like for a test because I have to go out to San Diego. So I have to get all my videos done and edited before I go. So that's kind of like the focus right now. Oh, oh wow. I but didn't... after that, watch out world. Watch out world. Danny. Watch out world. All right. We All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And if you're watching on the replay and you have made it all the way through to this part, thank you so much. And remember, you can send me those offers. If you see something in the shop, I'm happy to entertain them. And with that, go find your joy.